Bring my shoes. I guess that works. Did you guys know being YouTuber is kind of hard? <laughs> uh, more on this later. Uh, you can probably kind of figure out what these are if you can figure it out. Good for you. If not, one of the motors uh, came unwound and kind of ruined itself. So we're not doing this project. But I do have these cool fans. I have three out of four fans working. So I've always wanted to do this. Can you make an RC car an RC boat as well? But it's got to be a fast, really cool RC boat. So. Disappointed. What? I thought this was gonna be my slash. Oh, you, you thought the montage was gonna last longer, so did I. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're late on projects, so um, I kind of rushed into this one, so I kind of skipped most of the building. But um, yeah, we have a linear actuator right here, which pulls the suspension of the truck down, so you know the wheels aren't in the water. We can talk more about the water drag later, but um, yeah, the wheels basically go up like this. We're about to test that in a second when I plug this battery in. So yeah, here's how the actuator works. Basically, I have it on a channel here. I flick the switch when it's when it's in the water. And now the car is in boat mode. Look at that. Give it a second throttle and pull the uh, wheels up. Wheels are up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do one quick test because I'm really, really, as I mentioned, late on projects. So here we are, it's obviously dark again for all these of you that really like to hate the dark. I'm just gonna do a quick airboat test and we'll do the full test tomorrow. Oh, well, once the nose over, that's not good. Okay, we need to make some quick mods before I really do this. Um, this is not enough. Like, I thought this would be enough to kind of rise out of the water, but it looks like the water's kind of submarining over it, so it's not getting up on step. But the problem is, you you notice this too, but this fan is like kind of cocked down like this, so it's kind of pushing the tail down and pushing the nose in the water, which is not what I want. So I'm going to shim this so it's kind of more neutral in thrust line. If that doesn't work, I have to take this fan off and put it down here lower, so the center of thrust is more through the center of mass, so it's not trying to pitch the car into the water. So. I'm gonna make some quick adjustments and we'll try again tomorrow. Okay, um, we are going to have to change the fan mount. What's happening is uh, the, C uh, the CG is about somewhere right here and the center mass is somewhere like low kind of. So this fan up high is kind of still forcing the nose down as you can see the water is trying to just roll over the top of this. So it's not trying to skip the top of the water and get on plane. Because if you've ever seen like a high speed speedboat, very, very little of the boat is actually in the water. It's mostly just skimming across the water. So mods, the stick to the boat. Okay, so the batteries were dead, so that's not a very good test, but I noticed one thing when I was driving it. Since this thing is kind of displaced kind of far in the water back here, when it gets moving, the water kind of comes around the surface, and because of fluid dynamics and its intensity to stick to surfaces, the water kind of rolls around and still gets trapped in here. The big thing about this is like with this angled like lip here, is once it gets going fast, that water will kind of push down this and help lift the back end out of the water. To do that, you need a lot of thrust, but I'm thinking also, what if I close up the side here so once it starts moving, the water just kind of spills out and stays out. And I might try to drill a hole back here from here to there so the water can drain out to the back side. Okay, I'm gonna burn some holes in here. These are drainage holes for high speed boating.
What happened? I don't know. It stopped working. Wait. <laughs> I could drive it with the wheel. Oh no. You're gonna lose it. But I have no steering. So, what happened? I don't know. It got wet and it's not working anymore. So, let's go make more changes. Okay, so I think the e uh, ESC is dead, but these things never like water anyways. I think it got some water in it, so it is indeed toast. It's coated in epoxy, but um, I still think the water got to it somehow. So I think uh, I'm not going to use a fan unit for this. I may save these for something else. I have something really cool planned for that. going to be something else, uh, but um, we might go to two pusher props because those are more efficient. I can get more static thrust to kind of move it along. So let's try that now. The experimenting never ends. Notice how the rudders don't work at all with the um, propellers. I can't steer it, but watch this. Okay, uh, it's raining, but I do it for the demonetization status, so let's test it again. How's this crappy cup of water? Okay. It looks really cool. Okay, now the noise is done. I know what's going on. I can see like the water starting to kind of like uh, s like lip around and kind of like move the through the side of the hull and hit the blades. So it's basically causing me to drop RPMs every time the water slaps the prop. So it's like blowing all that smoke everywhere, which looks cool, but it's not making it go faster. Do it. No traction. No traction. Activate air mode. Ridiculous. This is actually pretty awesome. Put the wheels up when you come Check it out. I had some side skirt pontoons and I burned a big hole in here because I was noticing when I was driving around, water was still pulling around here, and since I added these side skirts, water can't drain. So now the water has drained through these holes, drained to back here, and then drain out the back. But that it's over time when it starts getting going through the water, so that should work. Uh, these are bigger, so this should help keep the splashing away from the propeller, so they don't, you know, jam up from water splashage. So let's go try it. This is dumb. Now it's too buoyant in the back. Cut like it's now two or over. three inches off the back of those. Off the rear of the uh, yeah. pontoons. Uh, would that help? Yeah. I don't think it would. I mean, yeah. it would help with some of the balance issues, but um. What do you think about the thing? It's really ugly now. Yeah, since you left last night, I did like four more renditions. I'm just getting extremely tired of this project, but. It does work, but the ugly and cool factor is extremely off. It is incredibly ugly and stupid looking, but um, hey, if it works, it works. That's better. If the Batmobile was pulled out of the garbage can, it's probably what it looked like. All right, here we are. Hopefully for the last time. Cool, I'm happy with that. Well, since it works, you know what that means, right? What's that? Montage time!
It went to the water. <laughs> There's the battery. Where's the GoPro? Uh, oh wait, where's the GoPro? Oh crap. Oh wait, there it is. You see it? Yeah. There's the GoPro. Okay, there's the There's GoPro. the battery. Yeah. The problem is the battery's unplugged and yeah, the thing is floating out there. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we need to drive this back to the dock somehow. Uh, oh, it, oh, the car wheels work too, so I'm trying to drive it back neck right now, so. That's cool. Oh, uh, also one of my friends is in trouble right now. Um, William Osmond, who you guys may have been aware of, uh, we did a collab uh, not too long ago, but he uh, recently had a, like a giant fire down in like um, California. So he's uh, a little bit hosed. Uh, this is GoFundMe active right now, so if you guys really want to help him out, he's a great creator too, and I really want to see him, you know, hit a million subscribers and be really successful on YouTube. So if you can help him out, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later because that thing's floating to the other side of the freaking lake now. But uh, yeah, it was a successful project. Driving cars on water is kind of hard, so uh, you have to get the wheels to go up inside of it. But we got that to work. Once you get that, the airboat's on plane and it's fast. So it's a fast airboat, fast car thing. I don't want to stick my hand in that because it's really cold. So bye.